Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own turntable for art projects, spray painting, um, anything else that you might have to use that for. I did have to run to my local Lowe's store and pick up some items to be able to create this piece. Um, you do need a pretty thick piece of plywood or regular wood if you wish. I did go ahead and I decided to get a two by two. My, I got a big board, but I got my sections done into two by twos. Um, so uh, I also had to make sure, you have to make sure that the wood is pretty thick so that way it's gonna be durable enough to be able to handle whatever you're kind of throwing on there. And it will also be able to make your Lazy Susan piece a little bit easier to spin. See how here it just kind of really doesn't spin that often. With this heavier piece, you'll be able to see how that's gonna change um, with the heavy wood on top of it. So I did think about making this video in the middle of actually completing this project. So I'm just gonna jump into the middle and kind of explain stuff uh, while we do this. So first of all, I wanted to make sure everything was gonna be centered. So I did measure each side marking each corner here and then just drawing my lines to find my centerpiece and then I just kind of lined up you know eyeballed and um, went ahead and placed this lazy Susan in the center I made sure all of my corners were on a line and made sure everything was in alignment with um, the lines going across and um, horizontally and vertically so from that point I you know, I already, well, I just unscrewed them for you just to show you this process. And also because I needed to take, honestly, I'm not even going to lie. I don't even know what, what this is called, like what this piece is called, but the, the saw drill piece, you're going to need that. Um, it's pretty important. Um, you'll see why in a second. Just to get a little bit closer for you guys, I, uh, made sure to line all my holes up and to make sure I was able to um, be able to screw in appropriately. I wanted to create a hole so that way I could just screw right through and be able to screw it into the other piece. So I kind of make this um, Jew looking star so that way it's kind of off center. And then I just took a pencil and drill a hole where I wanted to drill. And then, so of course at the time, um, I had all my drill holes and stuff. So you just kind of take this off, put it aside for a second. All right, so this is where the font part comes in. Okay, sweet. So I got my, that took a while, but Yo, where did it go? Oh, all right, so I got my sweet little hole out of here. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and flip this back over and then we want to put these pieces into place where we had everything lined up, all the drills are ready to go, screws are ready to go. Sweet baby Jesus, please help me. Perfect. All right, so I did get these uh, small guys. They're just like real short. I don't think even an inch long nails, um, just to make sure that it's secured into the wood. So just kind of drill each one in. All right, now that that part is done, we're actually gonna go ahead and flip this over. So what happens is this hole uh, kind of allows you to see um, through the board and see where the lazy is sitting on the other piece of wood. So say your hole doesn't line up. See how there's like no hole there? All you really gotta do is, let's see, I'm trying to hold this and show you. So, okay, so here's my hole. Here's my hole that I drilled. So I want that to go up there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is kind of put this screw 
in to the other side of the wood and kind of use that as an anchor. And then we'll go ahead and we'll push our wood on the outside. I think I went a little bit too far. And there was our hole. <laughs> Come back just a little bit. Alrighty, so I found our hole. Let's see if all the other ones are lined up as well. That one is. And that one is too. All right, so now I just have to drill all of them in, or I keep saying drill, but it's really screw because I'm using my hand. Okay, and so now that both sides are drilled in, we're gonna go ahead and just flip it over so the other side um, doesn't have that hole poking out, whatever you decide to put on. So there's a turn table. And then I will also do a little example. So here's a big piece of canvas board. Um, I believe it's 34 by 40, 36 by 40, something like that. Um, I would suggest you kind of put it sideways so that way you still have like a corner to kind of I put it sideways like this so that way you can kind of grab it by the corner there. So then this is how it would work for you. You can spin it, it'll keep going. You could put your paint on there um, while you're spinning. You can put the paint on first and then kind of let it flow out. It's really up to you what you want to do. So hopefully this video is helpful for anybody else who's looking to do a turntable for paintings or spray paint or anything else that you may, or maybe just a regular Lazy Susan.